Hi all, welcome to the new episode of Tech Insert. Today we are going to make a stable multi vibrator using a triple phi timer IC. I will explain you about multi vibrators while we are assembling the circuit. We need to study some theory and calculations for this circuit. This is the circuit of triple phi as an stable multi vibrator. We need to calculate the values of resistor R1, resistor R2, and capacitor C for our required frequency and duty cycle. These are the formulas used for finding on period duration, off period duration, and frequency of triple phi wired as an stable multi vibrator. This is the waveform from the output of triple phi IC, and you can see the on period, off period, etc. You can see the output has similarity to digital out that is ones and zeros here you can see we have replaced the resistors and capacitor with the values we have used a preset so that we can adjust the output frequency here we are calculating the t on for preset at minimum and preset at maximum position this is the calculations for t of period and the frequency calculation we will get a maximum of 4.8 hertz and a minimum of 0.6261 hertz and these are the components used for assembly. Let's make it. This is triple phi IC. I will explain you how to find the pin numbers of an IC or any IC. In one side there will be a dot or a notch. Hold the IC so that the notch or dot will be at your left side. Count the pin number from bottom left to right and then top to left that is counterclockwise. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is IC base or IC socket. This will help you to replace IC when it will become faulty. You don't need to desolder the IC and again insert it in PCB and solder it. Instead of just pull the IC from the socket and then insert a new one. Here also there will be a notch at one side of the IC base and hold the IC base so that notch will be at your left side and then bottom left is the pin number 1. I will show you how to insert and pull it off an IC from the IC base. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please click subscribe button. Press the bell icon so that you will get the notification whenever we upload a new video. Normally while assembling I will use a background music. But today I will explain you about multi vibrators while assembling the circuit. What is a multi vibrator? A multi vibrator is a circuit which has two state at its output. Multi vibrators can be used for flip flops, timers, dancing light and much more. There are three types of multi vibrators. A stable multi vibrator, mono stable multi vibrator and bi stable multi vibrator. In a stable multi vibrator that we are assembling here, it has no stable state. That means the output will go to one state and then after some time it will go to off state and again after some time it will go to on state and so on. We can design it in such a way that we can adjust the time of on state and off state. It is called duty cycle. When on state and off state time is same then we will call it as a 50% duty cycle output. We can have higher duty cycle or lower duty cycle than 50 percentage. If you have any doubt, ask us comments on this video. We will definitely reply to it. Next is mono stable multi vibrator. In this, it has only one state as stable. We can give a trigger for changing its state. Say its off state is stable. Then it will be continue in that state until we are giving a trigger. When receiving the trigger it will go to on state and after a predefined time period it will again go to off state which is its stable state. We will be making a video on that with its practical applications soon. The final type of multi vibrator is bi stable multi vibrator. In this both the state of the multi vibrator are stable. When we power it up then it will be in on state say on state and will continue in that state until we apply a trigger. Once it receives the trigger then it will go to the next state that is off state and will continue in that state forever until we give next trigger. This also we will be making it as a video and will be publishing soon.
Next we will assemble this in a common PCB and add more LEDs so that it will be beautiful. I am not showing the assembling part here. I have assembled the LEDs in a tree structure. Let's see whether it is beautiful or not. Seems beautiful. Mm, wh what do you feel? Uh, is it good or bad? If you have any more ideas of LED arrangement, please comment on this video. The only change I made is replaced the 1K resistor at LED with a 100 ohm resistor. A few red LEDs has brightness issue. Try this at your home. If you have any suggestions, please comment on this video so that we will know that. I will switch off the main light and let's see how it looks. If you like our video, please click like button. If you do not like our video, click dislike button. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please click subscribe button. Press the bell icon so that you will get the notification whenever we upload a new video. This is KR with the GR and M signing off. See you in another video. Till then, goodbye and please take care.